Hello everyone and welcome to my new series which I'm calling Blender Back to Basics with Nano Pizza. So, as you may have guessed, I'm Nano Pizza and in this series I'll be teaching some basics on how to use Blender. So in this episode we'll cover the basics of camera controls, adding shapes and the basic object transforms and an introduction to the edit mode. So, to download Blender, you want to go to this site here, www.blender.org and you want to go to the little download tab here if you may have guessed that and you want to download for whichever version of Windows or Mac or Linux that you're using and there's 64 and 32 bit options for each so make sure you get the right one for your computer alright so once you've downloaded Blender you should have a screen that looks like this you just click out to get rid of that and now you have the default scene that Blender gives you. So they give you a camera, a lamp, and a cube. So first we want to cover the basic camera controls. So you hold the middle mouse button. You just hold it down and move it in whichever direction you want to in order to orbit around the object you have selected. Well, the middle of your screen, really. Um, then you have zoom, which is rather simple. You just scroll the mouse like any other program ever. You can also press control, hold down the middle mouse button, and move it in and out like so for a more smooth motion scroll. You also have pan, which you hold shift and middle mouse button, and that will move you around the screen like this. So now let's add some objects in. So there are two ways you can do this to add objects. You can go to this menu up here that says Add, Mesh, and you can select to add whichever object you want. Let's just get all the objects out and show you what they are. Also, another way you can do it is you press space, you type in whichever, whatever the name of the object is. So I want a cylinder. Try to spell it right. Cylinder, there we go. And you can also use whichever menu you want, it really doesn't matter whichever you prefer. So here are our basic objects, at least the ones I use. So we have a basic cube, another cube for some reason, I decided to put that in, <laughs> a plane. A sphere. There are two types of spheres, icosphere and UV spheres. I generally just use the icospheres. There's cones and there's torus, tori, tor I, I don't know. <laughs> so there are your basic objects. So to delete an object, you simply select it with your right mouse button. You use right mouse buttons for selecting anything. And press delete and then press enter. You can also shift delete. So you hold shift for each subsequent object and you can delete them all at once. Alright, so let's go over some of the things you can do in the object mode. So you can manipulate objects in three different ways. There is grabbing or movement, there's scaling, and there's rotation. Now, to grab an object, you press G, and that will give you the free grab tool. Now, if you want to move it along a particular axis, you press G, and you go to the corresponding axis. You can see the axis down here. Green is Y, blue is Z, and X is red. Those are your um, axes. They're always the same for every model you do. So if I want to move it along the y-axis, I will press G, then I'll press Y to move it along Y, I'll press Z to move it along Z, and X to move it along X. If I want to scale an object, I press S, and then I move my mouse like that, and that will give us proportional scaling. If I want to scale it along one axis, I do the same as I did with movement, I press S, and I press X, or Y, or Z. Now there is also rotation, which you press R. Rotation is 
one of the things that you're going to be wanting to use in the precise controls for almost every time. So, the precise controls are in here, in this little cube here, and we have location controls, rotation controls, and scale controls. These are your more precise tools, they let you do things that you wouldn't normally be able to do. So, especially useful for rotating objects, so if I, it's not particularly time efficient to try and get it so it exactly matches up 90 degrees, you just can't quite do it. So instead of doing that, just press 90 in there, and you know it's definitely at a perfect 90 degree angle. So, yeah, that's what we got in the object mode. Now after the object mode, we want to move on to the edit mode. So to get into the edit mode, you can either go into this menu and press edit mode, or you can simply press tab. So in edit mode there, you edit your object along control points. So the three types of control points are vertices, which are the corners of your object. There's edges, which are pretty self-explanatory, and there is also your faces. So, same rules apply as the object mode, the same keys do the same thing. S long Z will move that particular face or that particular line. You need two lines selected to do that. Or that particular vertice which, once again, you need two vertices selected to do anything with. So now that you've got that, we can... I'll show you the extrude function. So extrude is very simple, but very essential. So to extrude an object, there's two ways of doing it. You can simply press E and pull your mouse, or you can simply press E and then click on the screen. That will give you another face on top of that other face that you can work from. So, if you look here, you'll see that I can pull it out, I can scale it, I can push it back in, I can extrude it again, I can scale it down and do that. That just gives us some different effects with the extrude tool. And I can keep extruding until I have an object I like. I can also extrude out like this, if I so very wished. So yeah, that is your basic edit mode. So that's about brings us to an end on this episode. I'm hoping I remembered to click the record button this time because this is like my force try and try and record this video, and I am useless. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like. It does help me out. And I hope you enjoyed it and learned a few things. See you later, guys.